Hi there everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will create a dark watercolor background and add effects using salt. Stay tuned. I will use the Craft of Flower Color Lily Layering Die Set. And as always, there is a layering guide at the back side of this packaging. What is brilliant about this die set is that if I need this one flower, all I need is this one piece of uh, die and I will cut out all the layers for this flower, except for the center piece, this yellow bit. For that, I have this other die, which will cut out uh, the three center pieces for all the three flowers that has that center yellow bit and how will you differentiate that which uh, yellow bit belongs to which flower it, it's very simple is because there is the keyhole system in uh, the flower center is different for each flower my plan is to just die cut these flowers out of the 9 by 12 watercolor cardstock i absolutely love this uh, cardstock for die cutting because it is sturdy it also has a lot of texture and this will be very helpful if i want to add ink or watercolor later on after i adhere the pieces together here i have a die cut the pieces so as each die cuts out um, the flower layers i don't have to figure out which layer belongs to which flower it's super simple all i have to do now is use liquid adhesive and adhere these pieces together following the keyhole system there are four different keyholes for the four different flowers i will use these and also use the layering guide here that i have on the packaging and adhere the pieces together with liquid adhesive once i have all the pieces together just set them aside for now and work on the watercolor background for my watercolor background i'm using the viber 7 cold pressed watercolor sheet now this has a very textured side on one side and kind of smooth but not really smooth a side on the other i will just cut this into 3.5 s7 and then spray the panel with the water using the fine mister next i will start by applying emerald pigment from the emerald watercolor brush marker directly onto the panel now, if you are not familiar with watercolor brush markers please know these are super pigmented if you are hesitant please apply this on a non-porous surface or even the craft mat that i am using here he, uh, just apply the scribble this onto one side and then use a paintbrush to apply that these are going to react with water and lighten so that, this is why i am going to use lots and lots of pigment after adding emerald i will use lagoon and when i'm adding lagoon i'm going to mix that pigment into emerald i am going to work these two pigments in together because one is green and one is bluish green as you can see the difference i am going to add a bit of uh, persian blue not a lot just a little bit and then some turquoise the color preference is your choice if you don't want to add blue you can completely opt out of it and not add blue just keep the lagoon and green the one extra color that i'm going to add is citrus burst now there's a reason for me to add this color you can add a very vibrant green shade like lime so the reason i'm mixing citrus burst is because i will be coloring my leaves in kind of same color a very vibrant green so the yellow will show off more it will be more prominent compared to the lime green if you want you can add your salt right now but i'm going to let, let it settle for a minute and then i am going to add a little salt i added a lot of salt because i have I've not done this in a very very long time i kind of forgot that i don't did not need a lot of salt so i added a lot like a lot i kind of sprinkled it like i would sprinkle it on salad or something and i shouldn't have done that i should have just added a little bit i added too much and now it looks like this after drying it's just a lot but it's it's a good thing because now for at first i wanted to add just two flowers but now i'm going to add all of them so that i can hide most of my background um but now it kind of looks nice it's really beautiful the background is really gorgeous it works if you are adding a lot of flowers so that it hides behind um the arrangement 
but if you are adding less flowers i would suggest adding less uh, salt so that there is not a lot of going on in the background because right now there's just too much going on in the background now for the flowers i am going to use mango smoothie you can also use citrus burst but i thought that this was quite vibrant and i wanted a little warm yellow i would just use the marker directly to color the flower center but because my ink was the pigment was leaking i used my paintbrush to apply the pigment to the flower center next i used citrus burst and a little bit of mango smoothie whatever yellow you have just use a little bit of it to apply it to the base of the flower spread it upwards with the help of water so that it is it softens don't worry too much about it and don't add too much water to this once i added the yellow i added a little bit of uh, diluted green to just the base so that it appears to be ombre and it looks very pretty after drying if if it uh, looks light after drying you can add a little bit more because it's watercolor cardstock it's kind of it's very forgiving so if you start light you can always go a little darker just don't go very dark to begin with then for the leaves just add a bit of lime or just green these are the colors that i used and then at the tip of the leaf add citrus burst so that you have a very vibrant tip and so that it stands out against the background because the background is also green and blues and you want your leaves to stand out and be very vibrant against it. Anytime you think you are having a tough time applying color from the watercolor brush markers, scribble it on a slick surface and uh, use your paintbrush to apply it onto the die cut. Once the background dries, use your microfiber cloth or your hand to rub off the excess salt uh, and then use a heat tool to dry it further but i do like the effect it looks really really cool i hope you liked the project and uh, we'll give this tutorial a try thanks so much for watching bye hello there did that video just spark your creativity and do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too well if you do please make sure that you subscribe to the alt new youtube channel also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.